Well, hello again, and welcome to another great how-to. And today we're going to be looking at uh, how to uh, basically install a Peppermint Linux 5 on a USB stick and running it in your Windows 8 or 8.1 computer uh, without really putting it on your hard drive. Uh, I like doing things this way because uh, there's so many new things coming out all the time, and I like to try them without installing them and uh, Linux uh, uh, is a great uh, uh, distribution for uh, doing this too uh, but you're going to need a program and uh, the program is called uh, let me just start it up here it asks for permission it's Linux Live USB Creator and uh, this program can be found on the internet. It's a it's a free download. Uh, let me just go to the website here. It's called uh, uh, LinuxLiveUSB.com/download. Uh, and when you go to this website, uh, you just click on the download button and download it for your Windows 8 machine. You install it, and then you can run it. And now what you want to do when you run it is make sure that you put a, a USB stick in your uh, uh, computer and then you have to choose it. Like right now, I have uh, uh, mine plugged in right now so I can choose it here. And then I have to pick the uh, ISO file that I want to. Now these are some of them that I downloaded here, but Here's the Peppermint 5, which I downloaded, and I'll show you in a minute where to get this file also. And when you click on this and say open, it will, ins it will indicate that it's uh, going to install this file, which is an image file, by the way, and it's going to install it on this USB drive. Now, this is very important because you want to make sure that you're installing it on your, your uh, USB drive. Uh, and step three, really, I never do much with that. I just leave that just the way it is. And uh, if you wanted to format uh, the drive, you'd put a check mark in here. And if you don't, just leave it off. And it will overwrite the files. Uh, now, right now, I'm not going to do this because I've already created the stick. But all I would have to do is click on the lightning bolt. And it would start the process. And it would install the image so it would be a bootable USB drive and that's all that's to it very simple uh, once you download it and uh, it's very simple to use okay let's close that for a minute now now let's go back to the browser here and I want to take you over to peppermint and right now if you go to peppermint uh, uh, Let's see how they got that spelt here. It's P-E-P-P-E-R-M-I-N-T-O-S, peppermintos.com. And, uh, and all you do is download the one if you want to download the 32-bit or the 64-bit. Uh, I'm running mine on a 64-bit uh, a machine, so and most of your new ones are will run 64-bit. So I downloaded the 64-bit. And that was the file that I had chosen when I went to uh, uh, install it uh, on the USB stick. Now, when you go to uh, boot up uh, the machine, you basically have to go through a shutdown. Uh, you put the USB stick in the computer. You go to shut your computer down or restart it, I should say. And... Uh, you hold down the shift key when you're doing that. Now, I can't do that right now or I would lose my recording here. Uh, and when you do that, you'll have a menu option that will come up. Now, the USB, uh, it'll say boot off of USB or, or DVD or CD. You choose that option. And then once you choose that option, you can, uh, the, com the computer will continue the restart and it will uh, come up to another menu which will list any USB or 
CDs or DVDs that you have in your machine. And sometimes this happens. Uh, you won't see the USB stick that you just installed uh, Peppermint on uh, on your list. Then what you have to do is just go through the restart again. Uh, and then the second time, it's always there. I don't know if it's a, a bug in Windows or what it is, but uh, I had that happen to me a couple times. But if it's not there, just try the, the restart again, holding down the shift key, and go to the boot off other devices, and it should be in the list. Then you choose that. And once you choose that, your computer will finish rebooting, and it will start up on the USB stick. And basically, you'll be in uh, Peppermint, uh, and you'll be running uh, Peppermint on your uh, Windows 8 computer or 8.1 without even uh, installing it on your hard drive. And then once you're done and you shut down, you're going to lose any changes. I mean, because it, you can run live off of it uh, and you have an opportunity to uh, test it. Now, let me say this. Uh, Peppermint Linux 5 is really unique because it is not only a, a great desktop uh, uh, OS, but it's also a, uh, a cloud-based uh, operating system, just like uh, Chrome OS. And you can run all your apps off the uh, cloud. And now, if you want to see how Linux uh, Peppermint 5 works, there's a lot of uh, videos out on YouTube that you can check out. So anyway, this is my how-to on uh, installing uh, Peppermint Linux 5 on a USB stick and running it in Windows 8 or 8.1. And thank you for watching uh, this video.